seriously, though, the, the sunrise in Bhaktapur, it was, it was just incredible. I know this is going to sound completely ridiculous, but honestly, it was like, uh, like some kind of a religious experience. I'd love to do something like that. Yeah, you should. It's like suddenly everything makes sense and, well, you know why you're here? Just sounds absolutely amazing. Yeah. Yeah, the whole trip was. That sounds absolutely amazing. Orange juice, please. No ice. You caught the Dalai Lama and the students sat in the corner. Sorry? Him. Oh, wise one. Look, I know it's difficult, but I think we're going to just have to suck this up. Yeah. Only I didn't want to punch him. Mm. I'm starting to get the feeling this isn't just out of loyalty to Paddy. Yeah, well, does that too? And the way he was a bit, you know, psycho with you and Johnny. Yeah, I'm not the one wanting to punch him. Look, if Rona trusts him... I know, him... I know. Why does he rattle you so much? Because it's one of them. If you've done something, he's always done one better. Haven't you noticed? He could bear grills around for his money. Yeah, it's been a year and a half, hanging up the side of a mountain with a broken arm and a bottle of water. It was incredible. My name's Pierce and his stupid grin. What stupid grin? Yeah. Uh, same again when you're ready. Live long, Live long and prosper. And prosper. <laughs> I'm uh, just off to the John. All right. <laughs> Just off to the John. The John. Who says that? And did I ask? I don't know why you don't get on. You have so much in common. Well, that's another thing. You know I'm a Trekkie, right? Well, guess who else just happens to be a Trekkie? Only he's probably got memorabilia in his attic that's worth about a trillion pounds. Wow. He really does bug you. He just grates on me. Yeah, but he makes Rona happy. And you've got Leo to think about, so... Oh, Marlon, you're just going to have to grit your teeth. Yeah, you just need a little bit of practice. Really? Practice? I don't know what's wrong with me today, but I nearly took your eye out. I wish. Hey, I didn't leave my phone here, did I? OK, I picked it up before you know who got his mitts on it again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to making an effort? Believe it or not, I am trying. Well, try harder. What? Get Look me. at that! Blimey! Is there anything you're not good at? Oh, well, uh, let me think about that one for a minute. Just call me Mr. Perfect. No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> is this one machine to darts, anyway? Give it a rest, Marlon. You're beginning to get boring. Hey, you haven't got any spare wooden spoons knocking about, have you? What would you want with wooden spoons? I thought you'd have a well-stocked kitchen with your culinary expertise. He does knock up a mean fish pie. Said I'd help Leo with his school project. Oh, yeah? What school project's that, then? It's called Me and My Family. Yeah, so, uh, we're making you, Paddy and Rona out of wooden spoons. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard. Well, for Marlon, anyway. <laughs> oh, actually, if you've got different size spoons, then that'd be great. Good idea, Captain. Right, well, uh, I'll see you later. Um, we can do it together if you want, the, the project. No, you're all right. Well, come on, why not? I think Leo might really like it. Well, I'd hope so. I say I'm his dad, but uh, I've got work, haven't I, so... Ah, OK, well, uh, if you change your mind, you know where to see us. Sure do. You smell me, yeah. 